Terry Goldstein for IEEE Spectrum, and we're here at the Austin Maker Fair with uh, the Make Spectrum Contest winner, John Lennart, in his trail camp. Everything except the deer's in my backyard. Yeah, and you'll see there's that, yeah, there's that box. We had no idea he comes from our backyard. This is uh, the building blocks for the trail camera, uh, showing you the individual components, battery, the control board that I designed that detects motion. It's got a now lens to extend the range out to about 90 feet. And that control board's controlling both the camera and the sleeping bridge. So I've got a photo transistor here that detects the, the flash in the camera to then know when to trigger the slight flash at night. The camera, you, you build it and you put it in a watertight enclosure. There's a lot of guys will put them out in the field up to uh, a month, two months, in all kinds of uh, weather, you know, rain and wind and uh, snow. So, I need to take that security issue. So, a lot of guys will use this, what's called a pipe through design, where you run a pipe through the case, but again, it's, it's sealed watertight, and then you can run a lock through it and attach it to a tree. So, a tree's back here, a lock, got it securely attached to the tree. They can't open the case to get to your camera. They're using infrared technology where the nighttime pictures are taken with a flash unit, but there's no visible light. So there's a filter, a red filter placed over the flash, so it, it blocks the visible light, but still transmits a lot of infrared light. And the camera, the infrared blocking filter has been removed, so it makes the camera much more sensitive to the infrared light. So all the pictures that are displayed on that uh, monitor there, the nighttime pictures, they're all infrared. There's no visible light when the pictures are taken, except if you're looking like right at the camera, you might see a little red from the... From the, uh, but the animals have no idea that they are uh, no the subject of your surveillance. Right. So, what's the innovation here for the Because I know that there are lots of trail cameras on the market. What have you done? and? How much should it cost? Okay, yeah, my claim to fame, as I, I put it, uh, is that my friend had been building trail cameras with commercial boards, but there was no no board out there that would control the camera and the slave all on one board. So he wanted, he thought he spent too much money, he wanted to uh, spend less money and get everything in a smaller package. So I took over the pro project to design this board from because I also wanted to learn about the PIC microcontroller. So I'd always worked with uh, Motorola, but never with PIC, and all, a lot of projects you're now using picks. So I designed this board to, full, to do full control of the camera and the slave on one board. A lot of people switch to picks. They're very inexpensive. Uh, like, and they don't they don't require really any uh, external support. You just need a power supply. They've got their own internal clocks. Uh, so it's very easy to write a little logic, uh, attach a battery to it, connect wires up to the I.O. pins and control things in the outside world. Cool. Well, yeah. thank you very much for uh, for entering the uh, Spectrum Main Contest and for uh, coming out. Well, thanks a lot, Harry. It's been great. I really uh, appreciate uh, the honor here. Hey, no problem. Thanks. Thank you. This is Her this was Harry Goldstein for IEEE Spectrum.